that? Um, it's finally it's finally good to see my team back. Um, I, you know, like I told the staff, I said, you know, obviously the goal is to win. Doesn't matter if it's one, but I, but I think we needed a game like this, um, where you know everyone contributed in a positive way, whether it was points, whether it's you know, defensively or something. So I, I'm. You know, I'm so proud of you guys. I, I've always been proud of them, even through the losses. Um, you know, we've never hung our heads. I wouldn't allow them to do it. I said it's part of the game. It's part of life. You're going to have failure. It's, it's how you respond to the failure, and they responded well today. Coach, uh, for the first time, this, you know, these last few days, you got to deal with a locker room that was going through a losing streak. What, what was that like? Not only, you know, everybody's gone through a losing streak, but this is the first time you guys lost back-to-back -back all year. Going into this game. Great question. Uh, well, <laughs> so one of our rules is to never lose two in a row. I don't have many rules, but I have one of those. And and uh, you know, it it, it it I I I have to be honest. It hasn't been easy. All right, because he's I, I've had these guys since June. It's a long year, and we're around each other a lot. We get tired of each other every blue moon. But one thing I give them credit for, they have a great spirit. And my, my, my old self, my, you know, a coach of me maybe 10, 10 12 years ago, um, I would have been a little bit more militant. Uh, but that's not the way to respond, you know, to, like to get these guys to respond. So, you know, like we do a lot of fun things. We, you know, still have light practices and, you know, and you just talk to them and just say, hey, listen, it's, it's part of the game. You, you, you start bringing up teams like Kansas who, you know, who go on a road against uh, two great teams and lose two in a row. Um, you know, it's, it's not something you accept, but it's just part of the, it's part of the game. It's part of playing in the Panhandle Conference. So uh, they responded well. Through two seasons, you're now five and one against Pensacola State. I know no conference win ever comes easy, but it seems like you've been able to match up well against them. I mean, is there anything that's gone into that? No, it's just, um, you know, me personally, I, I don't ever want to take credit for anything that I do. Uh, I just have good players that, that are coachable and, and, and you know, for the most part, they follow the game plan. So Pensacola is a very well coached team. You know, like they just, you know, have had some bumps in the road and, and you know, hopefully they back, uh, I should bounce back next year. Um, but, you know, just going into these games, I just know I gotta be prepared against Coach Pena because he's, he's a really good, you know, uh, X and O guy. He's really good at changing up his defenses. So I have to be on high alert to be able to call some things. Oh, 12 points today, you were five for seven from the field. I want to talk a little bit about the defensive effort. It seemed like today you and Tom were were in sync in terms of guarding the rim. Can you speak on that a little bit? Yeah, our, what the motive is just to protect the rim by all means. So, you know, we just try to block every shot that they go up, go up for. You know? so, yeah, that's, just, that's the mindset every game, go after every shot. Coach Malachi Davis again, uh, second half really heated up, knocked down a couple threes, a couple nice uh, takes to the rim, and a heat check in there that I know you probably weren't too happy with. But <laughs> I'll talk about his performance again today offensively. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm only happy when they go in. <laughs> uh, I, you know, I, I mean, I tell these guys every day, I say, coaches are hypocrites. You know, well, no, 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 no. And then it goes in, and then you're like, okay. Uh, but Malachi Davis is, 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 you know, I've said it from day one. He, from a talent perspective, he's one of the most talented guards in the country. And I mean that from uh, the bottom of my heart. He's hard-headed sometimes, but I love him. He reminds me of myself a little bit. And that's probably why we, we, you know, we bump heads sometimes, but it's, 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 it's never anything major. Uh, but he's talented, his, the, you know, the sky's the limit for him. And when he's going, our team is going because uh, he does so many good things. You know, um, it, it's, you know it's not just Addison. We have a lot of good players, and uh, today was a balanced attack between between six, seven guys. Another question, you know, going deep into your bench today, Raquan Taylor got eight minutes, but he did a lot within those eight minutes, 10 points, seven rebounds. A guy who you, you missed for a few games a couple months, you know, last month, but right. he, he's come back and he's, he's carved out his spot in the rotation. Yeah, well, I mean, it's one good thing about Raquan is, is that he's, he's always ready when his number's called. Um, you know, like he has never questioned his minutes to me. He has never said, he just said, coach, I'm ready whenever you need me. You know, like he understands there's some things I need him to be better at. Um, and it's not necessarily a skill perspective. It's just being tougher and meaner. Um, but he's ready when his number's called and his number was called and he helped us win this game and I'm proud of him. 
oh, can you speak to you know how you and you Ray, you and Ray work off of each other in practice playing the oh, yeah. playing the five? He pushes me. <clears throat> he pushes me on like a whole new level, like to keep going. Like you know, if I feel like I'm getting comfortable, I realize like all right, it's time to step it up. Like you know, so yeah, he, he definitely is a big factor in the team. Like that's my dog. He, he pushes me a lot in that whole team. Uh, Coach, another your last uh, road regular season game, going to Gulf Coast, a place where you went and won earlier in the year, but it's 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 never easy. What's going to go into preparing for that now that the regular season is, is coming to a close? Well, you know, playing a, uh, a team a third time is always hard, um, especially on the road, and it's a lot at stake for us. Uh, so, I, you know, I know my guys will be ready. Our, our prep is going to be the same as been from the first game to now. Uh, you know, we got to defend, we got to rebound. This part of the year, and I mean, obviously, and even in the beginning, you know, but this part of the year is strictly defending and rebounding. Uh, if we can do that, our talent just showcases on its own. Uh, so going on the road, uh, you, know, you know, I mean, against a, you know, a good team, a very competitive team, uh, you know, we just take care of business, and then and then uh, we'll finish off the home series um, next Saturday. Thanks, guys. Yeah, good job.